please start your presentation. Uh, good afternoon for all. Today we are going to present uh, our thesis focused in Lean IT with the title of Software Cache Methodology for Power Optimization in Data Centers. My name is Igor and his name is Fabio. We start with the introduction. What's Lean IT? Lean IT is an environmentally uh, sustainable computing. It's a study and practice of designing, manufacturing, usage, uh, disposal of electronic components and equipment such as computers, uh, monitors, printers, uh, efficiently with no or minimal impact on the environment. Uh, Green IT benefits, we have the reduction of power consumption and costs, we have reduction of data center carbon footprint, since uh, the carbon footprint uh, comes from the energy uh, generation, and marketing strategies, because nowadays the green companies uh, have better reputation in market. The state of art of uh, green IT, uh, other configuration, uh, nowadays we have development of low power components, uh, like this Intel Xeon, a microprocessor capable of powering off and used cores. We have virtualization in servers, trying to improve the usage of the hardware uh, resource. Uh, thin client architectures uh, <coughs> with the reduce uh, of complexity in client equipment, uh, centralizing the computation power. Uh, pooling to improve the control of heat dissipation inside data centers and data caching, trying to reuse uh, ready computer data. The focus of our thesis is data caching. Uh, research overview. Uh, actually, the entire architecture uh, is composed by three theses, uh, uh, separating in three, in three main blocks. The first main block is to uh, analysis of a pre-existing system, trying to find out uh, mathematical methods to be uh, modified uh, to use the feature of the cache system. We have business intelligence with analysis of acquired results from the tests. Uh, and the focus of our thesis that is the, the trade-off module responsible for decision whether data must be kept in memory or not and the memory management to provide uh, 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 basic operations in memory like insertion, deletion and managing the memory methodology actually uh, the slide will present an animation with the main idea of the project the original execution flow and the modified in the modified we have a table with uh, we have a tabulated values. So the idea is to create uh, from the user a computation request. Uh, the request uh, has input values. We index the table to get the result and return the result briefly to the user. While in the original flow, we have the still computation time to solve a complex mathematical operation and return to the user. Again, we have uh, a request for, uh, for computation. We index the table below and get the result immediately to the user while in the original flow we have computation and then return to the user the Here we have the search code flow, a lower level explanation, we have the, the red block with the original mathematical routine, that is the original method from the pre-existing system, we have the green block with uh, responsible to to run the lookup and verify if the value already computed is in cache or not. If the value is cached, we immediately return the result to the user. If not, we have a miss. Then we calculate the value and we call the trade-off module uh, where the, the system will decide if the, that data must be there or not. We have the memory management module. We have uh, two hash maps two nested hash maps. Why hash map? We have a constant lookup time, uh, independent of the number of entries uh, saved. We have no order, but we didn't need order in this implementation. And duplications are removed since we are using map and a single entry has a single output. Uh, since Java does not provide uh, an API to, uh, to verify the, the space used by objects in memory dynamically, we use the open source library from the internet to, uh, to analyze our objects and verify how these objects 
uses, uh, uses the memory and we have the formula calculated in bytes embedded in, in the parameters in the For this complexity, uh, it inserts the uh, overhead uh, into the original function. So for example, if, if we had a function that runs in, in 100 seconds, and after the optimization it runs just in 90, 90 seconds, we are saving actually 10 seconds. But if the system itself is taking 20 seconds, it's not worth it to, to optimize this function using our system. So in order to solve this problem and evaluate this overhead, we came up with a mathematical model. We call it alpha approach. It's based on the execution flow. These blocks are consuming time blocks. For example, the time, the time to, to have a hit or a miss or compute or the time to the trade-off in order to decide whether to keep, it, keep the values or not in the memory. So the, the inputs of this model are these times and the output is something we, we call alpha break-even. It's actually the minimum hit, hit rate to guarantee the execution time to be equal before and after the optimization. Now I'm going to talk about analysis and conclusion. <coughs> so as an experimental setup, we decided to use as workload a Gaussian distribution. Uh, so the inputs were randomly chosen. Uh, we also took into consideration the precision of the numbers. I mean precision uh, by the small places and the number of calls we were we are executing. The benchmark we use it is a set of uh, nine financial functions. We can see here in this table all the financial functions. There is nine. There are nine of them, and this alpha, uh, as the last slide uh, we saw, uh, represents the, the hit rate. So uh, hit rate out of the range between zero and hundred percent is impossible to have actually uh, in a real a real system. So between uh, these nine functions, we, we came up with three functions, but this yellow cell shows a function that's impossible to, to optimize in, uh, because of the high number of combinations it has uh, as input numbers. So we decided to choose binomial optimum pricing and implied volatility to have the, the, the system tested. Here is the first slide of the results. We have as the blue bar, the computation time of the function before the optimization and the green bar shows the computation time of the function after the optimization. Alright, the result analysis. The huge difference between uh, the computation time before and after the optimization is due to the high hit rate. We, we achieve uh, like 95% of hits and also because the, the hit time is too low, it, it's too small, it's like 5% of the computation time so it, it gives us lots of saving and considering the benchmark chosen uh, in average we save 20% of execution time well the conclusions, even though we, we, we were working just with time we can say that uh, we had 20% of energy savings because to translate time into energy we have this to, to consider the power of the computer so for this set of, uh, of functions, for this benchmark, in this case study, we, we, we achieved 20% of savings. Also from the, the very very first part of the green IT, we can say that energy is becoming too costly. Now the companies uh, are trying to optimize energy efficiency. And this thesis work worked on this branch of the research. And the last point, uh, it's possible to reduce power of, uh, power consumption using the caching idea and also to have some speed up. Well, thank you. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you very much for your presentation.